Hello, it's 11 King 11 and this is just a quick tutorial on how to mod Modern Warfare 2 campaign with Modio. Okay, I'm going to try this quick. So what you're going to want to do, first of all, is open Modio. And you're going to want to go to um, Explore My Device. And here, click here, File, Open, Close, Drive. And it should say Xbox 360 USB stick. If you just have a USB stick in, it should be partition 0. If you have a hard drive, it would be come under partition 3. So you're going to want to open content. Um, it should say something like E triple quadruple 0 D9 D8693 AC. Or it should say your game attack, whatever it does, just click that and open it. And you should have a folder called Modern Warfare 2. Or if you're using anything else, you should say 41560817. And I want to open that. Go to Game Save, and it should say Game Save right here, because you can't open it directly. And you're going to want to drag it to your desktop, like I have here. I have it saved on my desktop. Right, so you're going to want to close that, open up Model Yo back again, and go to Game Mod and Modern Warfare 2, which is right here. And it should not work. If it does, if it does, then you've got some next mod chip in your computer because it shouldn't be working now. So right, you're gonna want to go to open, and you're gonna want to load your save game. It should have a Safari icon if you're using Internet Explorer or Firefox. You should have that icon and click save game and open. I have quite a few save games, but I know it's this one because I've used it quite a lot. Right, um, I already have some mods on this save game. I'm just going to put everything back to normal if you're following. So, I'm um, not just going to explain the details. Okay, if you try to drag one of these and it doesn't work, you have to make sure you check the box and then drag it to what you want. I'm just going to keep player speed with 250, which is how fast your player runs without sprinting. Um, sprint speed, I'm going to put it on maximum, so that's how they jump when sprinting. Jump high, I'm going to put that on the maximum, which basically is how high you jump. If the more high you put it, the higher you jump. And if you put it to a certain amount, probably about in these regions, you will be able to jump out of the map. And um, enemies will not be able to get you. The veteran would be pretty simple. Right, so far melee, basically you can knife or whatever you're using from a far distance. Infinite health, also known as god mode, means basically you can't die. You can die. But you have to be under some intense fire from all angles. Unlimited sprint is it means you can run without stopping. Infinite breath means you can snipe it with steady without having to stop breathing. And unlimited ammo means you can just spray as much as you like without having to reload. I wouldn't disable crouching because this may stop you from doing missions, especially the first one, where you do have to crouch and shoot at the same time and this will stop you from doing it. I'm just gonna delete these and then go through them. Um, hide ammo counter. This will stop you from knowing if the unlimited ammo is working, because it may stop working in certain missions. And you're gonna want to go to hide no ammo text. Um, hide overhead name. This is skill. You know, display debug console. Show laser dot, which is probably the best out of the all of these. Um, disable sticky aim. You're gonna just leave that. Hide gun was probably the worst because then you have the late, basically none of these work without hide, with hiding your gun. High sniper overlay, which means you can s um, scope normally as you would with any other gun. And high stance indicator, which is that little annoying white object of a person in the corner. The game, I'm not really going to change any of these because basically these stop the game from working properly if you're going to use mods. Um, so I'm just going to leave one of these. Custom is if you download any of them. If you wanted to use a custom one, you're going to click Add New DVR. You click it and you click Open. Whoever is loaded on your computer. Right, so what you're going to do now is you're going to click the Save button. And you should get a little message. Your file has successfully been saved, rehashed, and resigned. Mm. Sorry about that, I had to pause it. But um, yeah, so you're going to want to click. Uh, so it's been rehashed and resigned. And what you're going to want to do now is you want to gonna go to um, USB Explorer. It's a simple app which helps you explore USB because it's been um, set to Xbox 360 settings. It's not standard with any computers, so you're going to have to 
it's going to go to file, open device, um, you're going to want to go to this one again, which you've seen before, and this is also what you've seen again, the, if, unless you have any other files, this should be it, and you're going to want to, I've already moved mine to my hard drive, so you're going to want to click inject, and the save game, which has just been mod modded, and basically that is it. There's nothing else to it. I'll show you a quick video after of what the mod does look like. But if you have any troubles, um, PM it mocks me, and also check out my friend's YouTube channel, X Nightmare Vids. Check it out. It's great. Be there. No.